Hi, welcome to an Inventor 2017 video tutorial. I want to do the cam belt, which I did before in NX and in Katia. A uh, simple version. I will check if I can do a more advanced version, but I, right now I will go for the simple version. So, let's have some fun with Inventor 2017. So let's start with a sketch. Maybe on the XY plane, the front plane. I need just for reference circle diameter maybe 30 Let's zoom out and I need a spline and this could be something like this okay Let's remove that circle just for me to see how big my spline is. Finish the sketch. Now I need a plane which is normal to that spline through that point. Then I need a sketch on that plane. And this should be a line which might be 20 in length. Finish the sketch. Now I want to do it similar to the NX exercise. Therefore I need another sketch on the front plane. That's the XY plane. And I want to project this line from the other sketch. And hide sketch 2. Sketch 3 should be visible. Let's take a look. Seems this geometry project didn't work. Let's make it visible. Yeah, go back to sketch 3. Sometimes nothing works. <laughs> Project and select this line. Should be inside the sketch right now. Hide it. Okay, now it worked. So let's make an extrude. It recognized this sketch. Make it symmetric, make it 20. Go for another extrude, make it again symmetric, again 20. And now I could hide this plane and thicken up these. So let's go for a thicken. Where is it? Thicken offset. The surface, make it symmetric and make it, for example, 6. Now let's add a draft on both sides with a neutral or fixed plane. That's the fixed plane. One side which should be drafted, the other one which should be drafted, make it 5 degrees. Okay. Now I want to pattern this one, so go to rectangular pattern and I want to pattern it with that curve right here, this one. So I want to pattern the solid, that's okay. The direction would be that curve and this should be not spacing but curve length and make it for example 20 and change this to direction 1 so it's nicely aligned and confirm now let's thicken the other surface to so go for thicken I want to thicken this one. 
in one direction that's okay make it let's say two millimeters check it out if it's the right direction yes it is and confirm very nice now to make the fillets that's very easy because I have only one solid body and if you do fillets and in winter you I go for let's say three millimeters you could select all the edges uh, all the fillets not all the rounds but all the fillets see and these are the fillets that's quite nice and confirm so it's very easy to make all the correct fillets and then I want to cut or trim this body therefore I would uh, need let's hide this body for a moment or the whole bodies and I want to have an offset surface to this one I could hide this surface because I don't need it anymore this one okay and go for thicken offset and I think it's a quilt and it should be a new one and it should be offset this one in what direction take a look and that's the right direction and make it let's say 18 then I want to extend this surface with extend this edge okay and the other edge as well because I want to split my body okay I could hide this one and show my bodies okay and now I could make a split and go for trim solid split tool is this one that surface and it should remove all material on this side that's okay and hide the surface now and the sketch of course as well now let's declare a variable a new one add numeric and this should be an integer so I call it tooth number number no not in caps tooth number yes and it should be where is it it's not a length It has now its OL, it's without any units. Hmm. Okay, let's go for 30, but it should be U UL. So this should be UL. And right there it should be UL as well. I can't quite find the category right here, but now it will work. And I'm done. Let's put this parameter into my rectangular pattern. 
This one should be list parameters, should be the tooth number. Okay. And now by changing the tooth number, I should be able to control this Campbell. So go for this one and make it, let's say, 20. It adjusts, make it back to 30. And it adjusts. Nice. It works. So if you want to see more, give it a like down below. Leave a nice comment. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye bye.